Hello guys. Today in this video, I will show you how to create an LVM partition step by step in a Linux system. LVM stands for Logical Volume Manager. It is a powerful and flexible disk management tool that allows you to create logical partitions on a Linux system. LVM manages the disk space more efficiently than the traditional partitioning methods. One of the benefits of using LVM partition is that we can resize its size online without any downtime. Minimum requirements for creating an LVM partition on a Linux is that you must either have root user credentials or a regular user with admin rights, locally configured repository or internet connectivity to install LVM packages in case it is not installed on your system. Raw disk attached to your system. In my case, I have already attached a 15 GB of disk space that is detected as slash div slash sdb. So let's move into the actual steps. Open the terminal. First verify whether disk is detected on your system or not. Run lsblk command. In the output, you will see a new disk is detected. In my case, it is slash dev slash sdb of size 15 GB. Okay, the let's move to the first step. The first step is we have to make sure that LVM2 package is installed on our Linux system. Otherwise, we will not able to run pv create vz create or lv create commands so to install lvm2 on ubuntu or debian based system run sudo apt install lvm2 in case you are using rhl CentOS, or rocky linux so you need to replace apt with the dnf command so the command would be sudo dnf install lvm2 for rhl based distributions in my case I am using Ubuntu 2204 system, so I would be running apt command. So hit enter here, specify the password. It will install LVM package along with dependencies. Press Y. Okay, put install. Let's move to step one. In step one, we will create a physical volume. A physical volume is a block device, such as a disk in our case, or a partition that will be used to store the data for LVM partition. To create a physical volume on the disk slash dev slash sdb, run sudo pv create slash dev slash sdb okay you see on the output it has been successfully created you can also verify its status running by running a command sudo pvs plus dev slash sdb okay here's the size okay now move to the next step in the next step we would be creating a volume crop once we have created a physical volume we can move on creating a volume group a volume group is a collection of physical volumes it will be used to store logical volumes we can create a volume group using vz create command followed by the volume group name and one or more physical volume. For example, to create a volume group VG0 using a physical volume slash dev slash sdp, run the command sudo vz create, then the volume group name is VG0 physical volume slash dev slash sdp. Okay. Can see in the output it has been created successfully verify status sudo vgs uh, sorry vg0 
okay we can see the volume group size is 15 cb okay now move to the next step in the next step we will creating a logical volume a logical volume is the actual partition that will be used to store data we can create a logical volume by using lv create command followed by the volume group name the logical name and the size of the partition for example to create a logical volume named lv0 with a size of 12 gb within the volume group which is 0 run sudo lv create and uh, logical volume name is lv0 capital l size of the logical uh, logical volume partition is 12 gb 12 g and then the volume group name is vg0 output says it has been created let's verify its status using lvs command okay great now let's format it and mount it on a folder so that we can access it and start writing data into that partition we will format and mount the logical volume we can use any file system we prefer such as ext4 xfs and so on for example to format the logical volume with extended for file system we can use the following command mkfs sudo mkfs dot ext4 then slash dev volume group name is vc0 logical volume name is lv0 okay it has been created now create a directory lv0 on uh, mnt folder use sudo mktir mnt lv0 okay to mount this lvm partition on the folder mnt lv0 run mount command sudo mount slash dev slash l v0 lv0 space slash mnt lv0 okay to verify it whether it is mounted or not but we ran this command and we got the command prompt it says that it has been executed successfully but you can verify it again using df do a grab of uh, hyphen i slash mnt slash lv0 okay you can see uh, the file system type is extended for its size is 12 gb and it's mounted on slash mnt slash lv0 now go to this folder okay try to create files okay it got created means we are able to access this file system as well and we are able to create some files now to mount this file system permanently we have to put the entries in in etcfs dev file if you don't put it and you reboot your system this file system will not be mounted automatically so open fs dev file so to vi etc fs dev first entry is your file system name or the in our case it is less dev less which is zero lv zero second is mount point so in our case slash m mount point is less mnt slash lv zero third parameter is file system it is extended for and then defaults 
zero space zero. Now save this file. If you reboot this system, this file system would be mounted automatically. That's it. With these simple steps, you can easily create an LVM partitions on your Linux system. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more Linux tutorials. Bye. Have a nice day.